The journey of Shulk, Fiora, Melia, and the gang Not comes to an epic conclusion enemies? in this video. Sweet. Get ready so to witness the fate of the world of the Bionis and Mekanis as a group of friends make Let's their final I stand in this unforgettable adventure. Chat. If you have not seen parts 1 through 13, stop right now as this is the last video and you will have spoilers Jeez, ahead. And go. if you thank have, you, thank you, thank you. welcome back. As we Let's go through complete. the final moments of this absolutely amazing experience, the emotional payoff in this thrilling conclusion. The end is near. All right, Are chat. you ready? Are you ready? Sense, Dixon. Are you ready? We must be near the top. If we proceed from here. The point of no return, chat. Here we go. Yes, I'm ready. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> no, I'm not ready. Aren't you scared? Yeah? I would be lying <laughs> if I said no. Yeah? But still, we must go on. Agreed. We know what we're fighting for. We decided ages ago. <laughs> Dunban? Oh, sorry. I just got caught up in the moment. I'm caught up in the Come moment. On, My hands are tingling. Right, let's go. Time to seize our destiny. <sighs> Man. I could rely on you. All right, here we go, chat. Here we go. Oh, my hands are tingling, chat, and I can't save. My hands are tingling. I'm not ready for this. Anybody else get anxious when you're about to, like, get to the end of the game? Dixon! Kept me waiting a while, Shulk. Waiting? For us to fight you? Yeah, that's what it's come to. Or will you just shut up and let me kill you? We'll never do that. Just as I expected. Hmm. Wouldn't have it any other way. I've been working for Lord Zanza since the beginning. I raised you purely so he could live on. I know. And I must thank you for granting me such power. It's all down to you that I'm standing here, ready for you now. Enough talk, boy. <gasps> What's up, bearded legend? Yo! Dixon! That's a big boy! If you're so determined to stop us, then we will kill you! Finally! A bit of action! Oh, you kidding me right now? Oh, get wrecked, Dixon. Get wrecked. Oh, I've been wanting to kick your ass for so long. This is getting boring. What do you mean? You I'm kicking your ass. You no match for me. Ah! I see you've inherited Maynet's power. Not her power. Huh? I've inherited her memories. That's why I fight you. Fiora. Memories, huh? And what good are those meant to be? Can't use memories to kill anyone. 
Why are you fighting? You're helping Zanza to create a world where nothing exists. What could you possibly hope to get out of it? <laughs> Only those with power have the right to decide such things. You're wrong. Zanza just tells me where to fight and I fight. And that's how I like it. Is that your reason? For fighting? It's the only reason. Maynath wished for a world where the peoples of Bionis and Mechonis could live hand in hand. You will never get away with this! Is that right? Then what are you gonna do about it in that feeble fight? But he doesn't have a Bernardo anymore. Who knows how much life it's got in it? Hey, better say uh, goodbyes. It can't be. I'm fine. Uh, I'll carry on fighting beside you until the very end. Fiora. Well then, we better make this quick. Ah! He's feeling it, chat. There we go, there we go. Purge doesn't work against him. Nice, nice. Oh, let's go. Fighting you then. I'm done. I'm going home. Dixon! I just wanted the power of a god. This martyr stuff's not for me. Go! I ain't gonna risk my life to stop ya. Get back here! You expect us to let you go? What? Enough. It's Sansa we're after, not him. Uh, okay. What's up, Zelda gamer? Kid gets so strong. I lo I like I ain't Dixon. Let you see me die. Character. He's gonna <sighs> die. I won't give you the satisfaction of victory. <sighs> see ya, kid. <sighs> Looks like the student finally surpassed the teacher. Shulk, his wounds. liked Dixon. I like Dixon as a character. Um, I hate his guts, don't get me wrong, but as a character. He is... He is... something. This is giving me Final Fantasy vibes, chat. 
Why? Why can I not see any further? Now that I possess both Monados, I Yo, should look be at those Monados. The of fate. Why does the vision end here? The big caterpillar, welcome in. So Dixon has passed. Thank you so much for the follow as well. Lorothea too. How can this be? Are Telethia growing weak? How could they be defeated by such worthless mortals? This world belongs to you all. Create a world with no need for gods. A world that has no need for gods. <laughs> there is no world without a god. This world belongs to me! Okay. I agree with you, Starlight. I think Dixon is better as a human than as a giant. Where are we? What happened? At night time. Is Ricky have bad dream? <laughs> Look down. Look at all the stars. We're not on Bionis anymore. There's no land or sea either. It's beautiful. Facts. Is that a ball of water? So, you finally made it, Shulk. <gasps> Yes, that's a bowl of water. It's you. That is Earth. What is it, Shulk? I cannot wait to see which path you choose. Let us meet again after you have made your choice. Uh. Welcome, Shulk. Is that Alvis? That voice. It's Sansa. No, that's Sansa. But he looks different. I had planned to use the body obtained from Shulk as a vessel in which to dwell for the next millennium. However, I came to possess a great and unexpected power. Maynith's Monado. Correct. In addition to my own Monado, which you kept safe for me, I was also able to obtain a second weapon which holds the power of creation. Now I possess all I desire. There is no longer any need for the life of Bionis. I must thank you indeed, Shulk. You were of more use to me than any of my disciples. Now that I have the Monados, I can forgive you your betrayal. What do you mean, betrayal? You gonna give him a reward? Precisely. I will have him serve as my new disciple. You will be granted eternal life and unimaginable strength. Death will be but a fleeting afterthought. Are you so arrogant to believe that the High Entia... No. All life on Bionis are nothing but your playthings. Playthings? Yes. You don't know how it feels to have slain my brethren after they are transformed into Telethia. What are you talking about? A Telethia is a High Entia's true form. I did not transform them. I returned them. The Telethia are mere cells from my body. I conferred what? intelligence upon them on a mistaken whim, creating a primitive life form, the High Entia. They enjoyed a brief existence as sentient beings. For that, they should be grateful. Huh. So this is the arrogance of a creator. As I planned, the life of Bionis existed simply to serve as my vessels and my food. Bionis is nothing more than an accumulation of their corpses and life energy. But though you feign omnipotence, the High Entia still can find you to Prison Island. That is how limited you are. Yeah. Confined me. 
I was merely resting there for a while. Ho <laughs> ho! Resting. I was wounded in the battle with Maynoth's vessel. I simply awaited the day when a new vessel, revealed to me in a vision, would be born. Until... I was born. Precisely. I intended to inhabit your body, and once again do battle with Maynoth. However, I had no idea that I would defeat her so easily. Maynoth. You did a great deed in granting me a new Monado. I will gladly take you as my new disciple. Shulk. Never! I don't want to be your vessel, or your disciple! I just want to live my life as a Homs, in a world without you! That is most regrettable. You could have entrusted all to me and attained peace. But perhaps the vision of mortals will ever remain limited. Using one's power to change the world, that is a right possessed only by gods. Okay. Is that you laid waste I to hear you, music. Of course. Along with the beings called Machina, who followed Maynard. They had evolved and become insolent under her protection. <laughs> so you're saying us Homs are next in line, eh? You are correct. You yourselves have proven that Homs are a dangerous species. How unfortunate. I had a desire for friendship. Desire but for friendship? Granting intelligence to the lives I created was a mistake. A god should not long for friendship. You're wrong! Maynard chose to exist alongside us. She grew to consider us her friends. You should have accepted that. But what you were hoping for was not friendship. You wanted worthless slaves. Our lives as food. Just as I suspected, it appears that I was mistaken to grant free will. However, all will soon be over. The Telethia will exterminate Man, all life. Man, this is on crazy. Wireless. I will then create a new world. Just as I have done many times before. We what? will not allow it. We cannot. We will stop you. There we go. There we go. Come on, chat. Come on. Woo! Let's go. Is that it? Is that it? How can you Is that it? You no longer possess the Monado. I don't know. It comes from the bottom of my heart. It shows me my enemy. It reveals the future I must change. The future we see is not set in stone. There are infinite possibilities based on the paths we choose. You should be well aware of this notion. For that is how you have always existed. That is a right for gods, and gods only. Why should we care? Yo! What's important isn't whether you can see the future or not. It's the will to make a choice, and the strength to seize your destiny. Our time has come. Our destiny is our own! Can it be? A Manada? It is not only you that has the right. Every living thing has the freedom to choose the path they walk. And that is the future. A third Manada has appeared. How can this have happened? You are the immortals! We're doing this, baby! I will destroy you! We can definitely do this! Yeah! 
Let's go! Mine is the one true Monada. Instrument of destruction and rebirth. Are these assholes back? They are. Impossible. How can such power dwell within you? Everyone, let's go. This is the power of a god. Oh snap. Yo, let's go. This is the power of a god. This music, man. Oh, we're focusing on this asshole. All that is and shall be. You are nothing. You're nothing, you piece of shit. Let's go. Mine is the one true Monado. Instrument of destruction and rebirth. Let's go! Kick Xanta's ass now, Shulk! Let's go! Oh! Time to backstab you one more time! Oh, let's go! You will never defeat me! Oh, let's do that! How? The, the power of a god cannot be overcome! Zanza, this is the providence of the world. Even gods are merely beings restricted to the limited power determined by providence. That power, although great, is not unlimited. That voice! Albus! How dare you disobey me! Ah! I am Monado. I was here at the beginning. And I will proclaim the end. But that... that's, that's impossible. impossible. Shulk, it is time for you to choose. Does this world belong to Zanza? Or does it belong to you? That is something I decided long ago! That, that symbol! Today, we use our power to fell a god, and then seize our destiny! Existence born from the chaos of creation. It is vanishing. Oh. Where am is that I? a satellite? This is my home. Your home? Let's begin the experiment. Whose voice was that? It is Zanza. Before he became a god. When he was simply a man of flesh and blood. No! 
The results have not been confirmed. It's too dangerous. And that voice... It's Maynath. Ridiculous! It's perfectly safe. We are about to bear witness to the birth of a universe. Once, only a god could perform such a miracle. But today, mankind moves one step closer to no, the divine! No! simple curiosity. The curiosity of a single man that destroyed the universe and created a new one. A new universe. Your world was born. And so, two gods came into existence. Zanza and Maineth were lonely, so they created life in their own image. That was how we were born. As the world advanced to each further stage, it was inherited by generations of different life forms. But over time, awareness of Zanza faded. Zanza feared this. In order to escape his own annihilation, he wished for a world in a perpetual cycle of destruction and recreation. Bionis being filled with life, and the Telethia coming to wipe it out. It was all the will of Zanza. It was. But the truth of the matter is that he longed for friendship. His future and our future. It might have been possible for them to coexist. Correct. However, that time has passed. The old god was defeated by the new god that he himself created. New god? Yes. That is why I appeared before you, Shulk. Alvis, what are you? I am the administrative computer of a phase transition experiment facility. But that will mean little to you. To what? You, I am a machine. <laughs> that is my original form. Alvis? This world is stagnant. It has expired. Therefore, I will ask you, its new god. What is your wish? Will you allow the world to continue to stagnate? Or will you allow it to evolve to the next level? The choice is yours to make. I don't know. All I wanted to do was stop Zanza having his way, that's all. I cannot be a god. Too right. You're great and all, but there's no way you're a god. <laughs> Everyone. Look, don't worry, Shulk. None of us want to be gods anyway. And I don't really know what the future holds, but we just want to live our life as it comes. Eating grub, sleeping, laughing, crying, sometimes arguing. Sounds all right? Yes, <laughs> he's right. And being with the ones we love, that's enough. Even so, we change little by little. Every day is a little different from the last. We do not know what the future will hold. More fun not knowing! Ricky want to have fun! <laughs> Life's little surprises are what makes it great. We don't know what's going to happen. It's worrying sometimes, but it's also exciting. Don't you think? Yeah. Isn't that called progress? Aren't we all continuously evolving? I'm not sure we need a more dramatic change than that. Yeah. You're right. Little by little. Each day as it comes. That's how we should live. 
That's our world. Forgive my presumptuousness, but I recreated their personalities from your consciousness. Alvis, it sounds like you don't think I can make my own decisions. I'm supposed to be the god. Apologies. However, I have good reason. This world has little time remaining if left in this state. Have you made your decision? The choice is yours, Creator. Tell me your decision for the future of this world. I won't decide. The future should be decided by each and every person in the world. And so, what I... No. What we wish for is... A world with no gods! Hello for pizza, we beyond we go beyond. How are you? Love the name. Grand Paso Vines, what's up? How you guys doing? Welcome in. I'm speechless, chat. I am speechless. <laughs> Just... A world with no mods. You're not wrong. Welcome in guys. This is our very first playthrough. It's a blind playthrough of Xenoblade. Are you trying to kill me? <laughs> it's Waluigi! Sorry, Colonel. Sorry! <laughs> what do you mean, sorry? Squat jumps around the entire colony. 50 laps! Now! Please, Colonel! Oh yes. Excellent. What's up, Oath Ringer? So How you doing? Welcome in. The restoration's coming along nicely. Thanks to Melia and Venea. The High Intier and Machina have some amazing technology. We are happy to help. To live alongside one another in harmony. After all, I have no doubt this is what Lady Maynath and Egil would have wanted. Here, here. And may it last forever. Dumban? Fiora? What is it? Have you seen Shulk? Oh, uh, he just left. I don't know where he's gone, but. No, he I didn't notice that, Zelda others. Gamer. How you doing? Okay. Welcome in. It's Thank nice you. to see you. Fiora? Yes? Uh. It's nothing. Good luck. Good luck. What are we doing good luck for? Melia! If you're looking for Shulk, he is not here. Amazing! It's like you've got eyes in the back of your head. What were you looking at? The sea? Hmm? I wasn't looking at anything in particular. If anything, Fiora, I was thinking. Thinking about the future that awaits us all. Wow. You're so much more thoughtful than me. Really? I don't think so. I was just answering your question. But I know what you mean. You're right. We've been through a lot. Yes. We have. Facts. I am grateful to all of you. 
It is because I met you that I experienced so much, and it is the reason I am here now. Yes, we're happy you're here too. Thanks, Melia. For everything. Oh. I'm glad I met you. <laughs> and I you. Oh, I'm just speechless, chat. Oh, this soundtrack. Here you are. The breeze feels so good. Mm. It does. Oh, I love her hair. She has her body back. everyone so much for watching this xenoblade series it has been absolutely fantastic i really do appreciate every single one of you who've watched all of the videos series parts one through 14 which is now the finale of xenoblade chronicles we will be playing xenoblade chronicles 2 and that is coming up in our next video please make sure you go ahead and like and comment what your favorite parts of this entire series has been so far i really do appreciate it stay tuned Bravo. for part one of xenoblade Bravo. chronicles 2 coming up next